Yeah, this young Mark, Ro Jack behind the lens today in the 916 with Kada. Yeah, what's going on? What's happening? What's, I mean, where we at right now? Man, right now we in Citrus Heights with it, you feel me? In North Sacramento, it's like the suburb area, right outside the hood. So, okay, yeah. okay. Right outside the hood, where, where, where you, you know what I mean? Where's that? Yeah, I'm from, uh, I'm from North Highlands, you feel me? From 8th Street. So it's in North Sacramento. Yeah, okay, so what y'all do out here for fun? Shit, I mean, it depends, like, what type of shit you be on, really, but there's clubs and shit downtown, but it's a lot of fuckery that be going on, so I don't know, like, me, I just be smoking weed for fun, keep it real, right around. Ain't much really popping. Just be chilling, yeah. huh? How long you been living out here for? Shit, I've been out here all my life, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, in the same yeah. section? Yeah, right here in Citrus Heights, North Highlands area for the last, like, shit, 20 years, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, I lived in, like, a few other places, but usually stay close to over here. How was it like growing up out here? Shit, it was smooth for the most part until, like, you know, middle school, high school, like, freshman year and shit around then, and it was, like, got introduced to other shit, you feel me? But for the most part, it, it was smooth growing up out here. Like, I was just, shit, I, mean, I ride hella bikes and shit around here, just dirt jumping and shit like that. Just I mean, mobbing through, Yeah, bro. just mobbing through, like, hitting the skating rink, see what's up with the bitches, shit like that. Nah, major. The skating rink? Where was the skating uh, rink at? Shit, they got one, one there they got one in Roseville, off Riverside. It's like called uh, Roller Rink. Something like, I don't even, I think Roller King, I don't know. Then there's one right here behind the mall in Citrus Heights. And then there's one at Foothill. That's more towards like where I'm from. But shit, I went mostly to the Roseville one. Like everyone, I don't know why the Roseville one was popping, bro. I didn't like the other ones. Yeah. A couple of my bros did though. Like my boy Ace, the one that, you feel me, rest in peace. He had like the Citrus Heights one, he had on lock. You feel me? Like that's his spot. The ours was in like Roseville. So whenever we would go over there, we see like, Homies from over here, like, oh, okay, that's their little spot. They used to be dance battling and yeah, shit. Yeah, <laughs> no, that's exactly yeah. how it was when you grew up back then. Yeah, we used to dance battling and shit like that. Yeah, so but, back yeah, then, back then, who'd you look up to? Like, who was the OGs at? Shit, I ain't gonna lie, like, I always looked up to my pops for real, just like who he was as a person, but. There's like certain people in the hood that I look up to, like wait, like at that time, you feel me? But I don't know, a lot of shit's done change, you know? Yeah. There's like individuals I look up to back then, I don't even look up to now. I'm just like, now that I'm older on, on a different hype, I'm like, what the fuck was they on? You know Straight but, up, uh... Yeah. But not her? I don't know. Really just like, whoever is close to me. I ain't really fuck with too many people, so. If I looked up to someone, it was probably like my <coughs> nigga uh, Big Kenny right here in Citrus Heights. You feel me? I looked up to that nigga for sure. Because anytime we had a problem, anything, he'd come knock somebody out. If we need to get some paper, he had a solution. We're going to get some paper. Yeah. Don't have no weed, he going to get the weed. You know, so he, rest in peace to that nigga too. He passed away, but yeah, for sure. That's probably who. When I was younger, yeah, that's probably yeah. Like the only person would be in the neighborhood following that nigga around. So was it, what was the, uh, the hood like back then compared to now? Back then, it's like you could walk through, you're going to see people all over the hood. And then they're kind of like the same shit was going on, though, as it is now. But it was, I don't know, I feel like it was more in the open. And now it's like you go through the hood, it's, it's quiet, ain't nothing going on. But behind the scenes, it's like every it's a lot of shit going on. So I don't know if you, you can go through a lot of the hoods right now and you'll be all right. But... If you're involved in it, like, shit's going to pop out the cuts yeah. for sure. Like, it's still there. But I think because, like, it's time, like, 2000, what, 22 now? Mm -hmm. The cops 22. is on shit. Yeah. The cops are dripping. So what's the craziest story you got growing up out here? The craziest story? Uh, <laughs> I remember being hella young. I was just chilling like with a couple friends and shit. I seen someone 
I didn't even know what was going on. I just heard hella yelling, you know, we young, we looked over. Bro was just start gassing dude, like close range, and he drove, but what's crazy is, he just drove the fuck <coughs> off. I'm like, how did he just get all them gunshots? I'm young, so I don't really yeah. know. I'm like, how did he get all them gunshots through the front window, but ain't nothing happened. Ended up finding out like later on, like when I was older, cause I like knew who the person was. Dude didn't even have uh, real bullets. He had blanks. And, oh, shit. But it was crazy though being young because it was still Just like, it. it was loud and it was still happening. You feel me? So I was like, everyone was hiding, jumping under cars and shit because it was like right in front of us. And them not even being real. What about the police out here? They be tripping? Yeah, they be tripping. They just had me hemmed up the other week for no reason. Back then too. Uh... Yeah, back then for sure. But it's like, I was stuck on probation for the last 10 years since I was a teenager. And they been, I just kind of got used to it. Like I knew when they see me, it's what it's gonna be. I knew yeah, they gonna, gonna be cool. Yeah, they gonna harass the fuck out of everybody. They gonna search every car. I don't know, I just, it's their job at the end of the day. And it's our job not to get caught, you feel me? So just move accordingly, really, that's how. I, they be tripping though. They they fuck good by that. What was the spots when you was uh, growing up to be at? You know what I mean? Shit. That was popping. If you weren't at, like I said, like at the skating rings and shit, then it kind of evolved into like the hoods. You know, like there's certain blocks that would be booming or like certain areas. You know, like that's where it, where it be at. But really, just like the we had an OG in the hood. Like old, like, I don't wanna call him a knock, but he's a knock, you feel me? Like old knock nigga. And we, he showed us love though. Like if we needed to run anywhere or go anywhere, it was his, like his house, you feel me? So that ended up being the spot. Like everyone every day would wake up and make their way to that spot if they weren't living there. You know, cause like, oh, I had nowhere to go. That's where I was going. <coughs> I was hiding out at his house, you feel me? I wanna say he passed away like two, three years ago though. I overheard. But yeah, it was <coughs> popping over there, like just really in the hood. Yeah. Like A Street, over off Hillsdale, fucking out here, back behind like the mall and shit, all through the apartments, right here in Citrus Heights. Just different spots, you feel me? Like yeah. wherever the homies were, it was popping. Yeah. What about the liquor store? What liquor store was y'all hitting? Shit. Santa Fe, fucking Steve's Liquor. Six four nine on Watt. And it's still active right now there, too. There, yeah, most of the stores are still open. It's like if you if you go through North Highlands, you're gonna and you pull up to Ernie's, Steve's, Santa Fe, or like Mini Mart, Ernie that on Watt. Like you're gonna see someone from that neighborhood for sure. And I don't know where they're gonna be from, but you're gonna see people. I don't know. That's a, it. Used to be the spot to go though. Like. Certain blocks, you just go kick it. It's like somehow, like kind of like the little trap spots. Like everybody would find their way there. I don't even know where some of these niggas live. Like, yeah, I don't even know they just, they just how they there. got yeah. here. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if they left from yesterday. <laughs> they just be there. <coughs> but like when there wasn't shit to do and you was on that bullshit, it was like it was fun. You know? Yeah, that's where you're gonna find somewhere to smoke. You gonna if you drink or something, you know, you are gonna find yourself a beer or something. But on, as I got older on my shit, I would just start moving through traffic. I don't really be one yeah. place. I like just being at, I like being at the crib. That's the spot now. Straight up. For sure. Nowadays, that's where it's popping. What about I mean, food spots? What food spots would you hit? Man, Alberto's is all the nigga used to eat. For me as well. What kind of food was it? Just Mexican food, uh, carne asada fries, rolled tacos. It'd be like one carne asada fry, like six forks in that motherfucker. Yeah, all of us going up. at it. You know, shit like that, but nowadays I go to like Tokyo Steakhouse, about the only spot that got like hibachi out here. I be telling all the trucks they need to do something for sure. I'm about to do it if they don't. Hibachi truck. Yeah, because I be wanting that shit out here and there and there's not one that I know of unless they come visit for like a day type shit. But, and then like you go to Northgate, there's food all up and down Northgate. Like at nighttime you go over there, it's you know, taco stands, you got yeah. lady cooking hot dogs right there. She did like a couple birthdays for us and shit. Cause we'd be there every night eating that shit. But really it's like the, 
the spots that uh, like the trucks and the little pop-ups is like that's the best shit to me I don't even really go to restaurants like that little delis and shit uh, Lou's Burger right Lou's there in the hood yeah it's just like a little old school burger joint what about uh, clothing spots you wanted to get you know what I mean shit right real quick Growing up, it was always like right here on uh, Greenback and Citrus Heights is LA Fashion. And it's just all the white tees and LRG, little random shit up there. But other than that, I don't know. For real, like, I feel like I wear more streetwear than anything. So I don't really shop at too many stores. I'll go get shoes and shit at the mall or random little shit. But Mainly, I be wearing street shit, like whatever brands yeah. are out from all over, the, like different cities out here and shit. Yeah. What you rocking right now? So I chase a bag, you know what I mean? That's my boy out of um, Solidad, nigga low key. He okay, got the chase a bag yeah. shit going, yeah. You know? I know I told him too, like a couple of days ago when I got this, I'm like, I'm gonna wear that on the interview for sure. Straight up. Yeah. <clears throat> So get to your music, right? Tell everybody what you got out right now. Out what you Shit, got out. I got out three projects. I got what they call sixty four <coughs> reasons. I want to say that was um, if I'm right, that was the first one I put out with sixty four reasons, and then I put out uh, damn, I'm having to forget the name of it right now. I remember the cover in my head, but I can't remember the name to it. And then you got another one. So you got three projects out, okay. Yeah, and then I got the the last one. Shit, I'm down there spaced out on those two. And they're the latest ones I did. That's crazy. <laughs> uh, it's K to Ben Paid. That was that was the latest one was K to Ben Paid. But the first one I put out, it was under a little K, 64 Reasons. That's what it was. But throughout like the time, I was like, man, there's hella little K's popping up on YouTube. So yeah. I was like, I, I don't want to do that little K shit no more. So I just did it what it stood for and just put Kata on there. But right now I'm working on the um, fuck, more money, more problems. That's what I'm working on. That's the name of the project? Yeah, I'm like probably only three songs in, but it started. So how did growing up out here, you know what I mean, affect your music? Well, really, I ain't never really see myself rapping at all. But my uncle, he be rapping like a motherfucker. Like, anything going on, like, just, it didn't matter what it was about. Just some funny shit. Like, he's always making songs. Or he'd be like, oh, listen to this. And he'd be going in. But he never, like, went to a studio or nothing. Still to this day, I'm like, you need to go to the studio. So I would make songs with him. We would prop the phone up somewhere like this or something, you know, and, like, rap to it and shit. Keep it running strong. YouTube. Like, hella far back, I'd be watching him. But then I, I never thought I was gonna rap, and then my boy Ace, he always rapped like, <coughs> through uh, school and shit. He was like, meant like middle school and all, he was shooting videos, making beats, rapping through like high school. I was going in and out of juvenile hall though, and I would all every time I'd come back out, I would see him like on Facebook or MySpace, whatever it was at the time. He'd be like dropping little cover arts and vlogs, you know, pushing around with the camera. And I did a song with him. It never, we never really did shit with it, but after he passed away, I went to jail, and I was just writing shit. Yeah. You know, kind of just like fucking around, writing shit. And I, I came home, and I was like, fuck it. I just turned on the iPhone, and I turned on another phone, and was playing the beat in the car, and I put it on SoundCloud. And everybody was like, oh, you like, keep doing it for breath. So I'm like, all right, fuck it. Let me see if That's I can That's how you was it. recording it with, like that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was just like, fuck it, I'm just going. And it was working. Yeah, like, it got, like, cool little views on it. I was like, shit, let me make a song then. Yeah. And I didn't know no studios except for the one he'd been to. So I got a hold of the dude, and I'm like, what's up? I'm going to try to record something. And then just, like, slowly just picked up. But I still be, like, you know, getting distracted with other shit with life. You feel me? So I, then I get back on it. I be like, hold on, I got to get back on that shit. Cause it's uh, really the music. I feel like music opens hella doors. That's like the main thing I like about it. Like I don't have bitches hella mad. Like 
why you always on Instagram? And I'm just like, I'm opening hella doors. Yeah, you know promoting I mean? all yeah, that. Yeah, like that shit, open doors. Be in different cities. Huh? I ain't gonna lie, I've been to hella different cities because of the music shit. Mainly though, like the eight three ones where it be at, that shit got hella support. What's, so, what's the farthest you reached with it? Shit, far. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. I be having people on Instagram from everywhere. No, when you travel though, like when you uh, travel. travel, I just all through Cali. You yeah. Feel me? Just up and down, all the way to LA and back, but. And it's still love yeah, everywhere. Huh? Yeah, I've been to like different states and shit too, and it was love, but I wasn't really on no music shit while I was out there. But I still was networking on some music shit, like letting them know and see my shit, but I wasn't out there for the music. Just so I'm turning up. Yeah. So, what's the next video you got drop? Drop Shit, what really? Whatever one. Whatever one's next. I know we got the one with uh, Backpack Boys and Babyface Wood, Big Tone, Cartel Money. I think Lil Ricks is on there. All that one. And then other than that, I don't know. Really, whatever one I pick off the project, like I'm just going to try to do a video to all of them. Straight up. Yeah, uh, for the more money, more problems. Yeah, what? I'm going to yeah. just do a video to every song. I should have did that. That was the plan on the last one on the Ben Paid, but I just didn't get to it. I dropped it and then started doing some other shit. You still double back on it? Yeah. Now there's a lot of songs though, like off the projects I never got videos to and like people be asking me, like I had a homie the other day, he was like, oh, I got money on the cameraman. He's like, I want a video to that. I was like, that's love. But I just, when a song gets kind of old to me, even though people probably want a video, I just don't feel like doing the video to it. I'd rather drop some new shit. So how you vibe out when you get in the studio? Shit, really just kind of like this. Most of my songs start in the car. I ain't gonna lie, just riding around, I turn on a beat or something. Or like early morning is like a lot of time I like to get a, start writing something. It's like before the day starts, nothing's distracting me or nothing. I just wake up and turn a beat on it, you know, just while I'm drinking some coffee or something, smoking. And then if I don't catch a vibe to nothing though right there, I'm like, all right, I'm gonna try another day. And I just go on about my day. But sometimes I, you know, I'm on the sun. And then I, like, I, I just see it through and finish it. The studio you started going to, was it out here? Yeah, it was right here in uh, Citrus Heights called Industry. Okay, that's dope. Yeah, he's like OG for the Bay, for me he's cool as fuck. He be, you know, he know the vibe. So I was like, I fuck with it. Is that where you go to still? Or where you go now? I still go there, like, if I got a song I'm kind of on the fence with. It's because, like, I've known Brett for hella long and he knows how I record. So I just go over there. But if I'm going to really record something and I want it done, I go to uh, Sack G right now. Uh, Sack G, like, I don't know. He, he know what to do, right? Like, what's the sound? It's out here, too? Yeah, it's right here in uh, North Sacramento. Um, a lot of artists go to him. Like any artist you know from Sacramento, they go to Sac G for sure. What's your favorite strain of smoke? Shit. As long as it's that dope shit. Really? It gotta be dope, that's all. I don't like no <coughs> weird shit though, like no tangy, fruity weed or nothing. Just like <coughs> indicas. Power, yeah, uh, like cookies, gelatos, and shit like that. You know? prefer any way to smoke backwards, papers? <clears throat> really, I used to be big on the Swishers. Like, everyone would talk big shit like, oh, why why you smoke Swishers? And I'm like, that's, that's what I know how to roll. Like, I had nothing against woods because, like, I just couldn't roll them before. And then I kind of took the time to try. Like, I still can't roll for shit, but I make it happy. Really. <laughs> But I smoke backwards now. And, uh, it's weird. I won't even smoke a Swisher. I was talking about it the other day. I was like, damn, look at me now. You know what I mean? But I wasn't big on papers until I, you know, start fucking with the backpack boys on these cannons. And it's like, that's really all I smoke. I'll smoke a wood maybe two or three times, like, out the turn, like, through the day. But a cannon, it's like, Shit, I'm popping them motherfuckers back to back. Like, yeah. it's just easier. I don't want to roll up. I've been driving around all day, or you know, I've been it's doing hell of shit. Or I, I'm about to leave somewhere with the kids. Like, I'm about to just pop this and smoke on it real quick. 
that's really those. Yeah, right now just backwards, you know, Russian creams, you feel me? Okay. None of that crazy shit, dark leaves or none of that. The you know, like the leaves. I don't even really like the banana ones that everyone's hyped on. Like when they first popped out, I was like, oh, okay, tried them. They were cool, but I couldn't do it every day. Yeah. It was like everybody trying to tax yeah. for them too. Nah. I thought I was the first one with them though. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> I think everybody did. Straight up. Anything else you wanna uh, shout out, promote? Shit, just the team, really. Shout out, nigga. Everyone that's solid, staying loyal. Whoever, you know what I'm saying, getting to the money, taking care of their family. Just anybody, anybody doing that, and shout out to them. If people want to tap in with you for your music, what can they uh, search you up under? Uh, they can look me up on Instagram under Backpack Bucko. You can type in Kata. Either way, it'll come up. But uh, How you spell it? The Kata. Uh, K-A-Y-T-A. And then, other than that, I don't know. If you can't find me on Instagram, I don't know what to what about tell you. What about, uh, they will look for you on Spotify and shit. Uh, yeah, just type in K to K-A-Y-T-A. And for some reason, some weird ass shit pop up. And when you put search instead and click it, all my shit come up. Okay. I, don't, I don't know if it does it for everybody, but every time I search my shit on YouTube, it don't come up until I put search instead. I don't know. Someone must have had a name before. The algorithm be weird now. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. Hell yeah. We're in the 916 with Kata. This young mug. Shout out to Bro Jack. Westbound ENT. Let's go.